Welcome Gemini, we're going to be looking at um, what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth Self Awareness card deck, um, the Oracle of the Seven Energies and Osho Zen Tarot of course. Okay so let's have a look here starting with Soul Truth, three cards for Gemini please, give me three cards for Gemini. That's four. I'm going to take that last card and put it back. Okay. Alrighty. Am I communicating my needs is the first card. Where can I create more space? Am I focused on what I want most? Interesting. Gemini, let's have a look at this first card here. Your needs matter. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that what you are fearing is not true? So your action for this, Gemini, over the next couple of weeks, journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter and do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want? When communicating my needs, what am I resisting and with whom? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? Wow, that is, yeah, that is power packed. Am I communicating my needs? Tell me more about this for Gemini. Am I communicating my needs? Your needs matter, Gemini. Wow, this has got to be a follow on from the last one. Mm, mm. Yeah, Gemini, one more card. It's two. I just want one, please, one more. One more card for Gemini in regards to your needs. Your needs matter. Thank you. Wow. Gemini, this is the such a sense of power again. See, this is the thing, right? With the needs, it's like coming back into this earthly self and going, I as a human being have these needs that, that I would like to be fulfilled. Um, and I feel like, Gemini, there's this kind of sense of rising above that and seeing that it's not about you necessarily communicating your needs, but deserving, looking at it this way, deserving to have those needs needs honored and if there are those around you who do not honor that are they worth having around you do you want them around you what are your needs this is important for you to get clear on because if you can't get clear on that and fulfill your own needs you can't get rid of yourself right you've got to You've got to give it to yourself before anyone else could even, you could be even open to receiving that from anyone else anyway. So, you know, in that regard. First card we have out here is the royal you. Gemini, the royal you. Whoa, like far out. This reminds me of last week's reading, which felt like also a continuation on from the reading prior to that. So, yeah, I'll attach that at the end of this video, but... You may want to have check that out. Even the last two, to be honest with you, the royal you. Put your crown on. Open up. Blossom. Allow yourself to do that, Gemini. Allow yourself to do that. This is, but this I feel like is a way of saying, okay, so let's look at this royal you and how is it that you can step into that and honor that for yourself. Honor yourself. Okay. Your needs matter. Okay. Two cards for the royal you. Tell me more about this, Jim. 
the royal you. Yeah, this is you experiencing yourself, really stepping into the, the truth of who you are, okay, and embracing that and loving it, loving yourself, right? Um, and we also have inner voice here because when you experience that, your inner voice is allowed to speak, it's allowed to sing, it's allowed to come up and be heard. Look at the what's at the bottom here, the master, holy heck, Gemini. Who are you? Like, bowing down to you, Gemini. Bowing down to you. There are some Geminis here who <clears throat> need a crown, right? Need to wear those jewels proudly. Wow, this is so cool, Gem. I love this for you. Great and full. This is your cup. This is your cup, Gemini. What are you filling it up with? Making sure that what you fill it up with is great and full, you know. Because um, the fact of the matter is <clears throat> that anyone else in your life, no matter who it is, I'm not talking about romantically necessarily, I'm talking about in every aspect of your life. If their cup is not a match for yours, if the content of their cup is not a match of, for yours in any shape or form, then it's a matter of questioning, do they get to place their cup on your table? On your royal table? Consider that incredibly carefully. Right? Yeah. Because there has been, yeah, because this is what's happened, people have been taking you for a ride and they've been dumping their stuff all over you and it hasn't helped to fill your cup but I want to say Gemini it's important for you to look at how you have allowed them to do that They haven't appreciated who you are. And so it's time for that to change. It's time to put yourself on top of that you will do what you need to do for you. Mm. Yeah. Awaking, awakening genius. Look at this. Look at this honor in this card, Gemini. The honor. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. This is it, it, this is like finding the treasure at the end of the rainbow, and the treasure is you. Your wisdom, your knowledge that people don't even know you have, that you keep quiet about. You just, you're just like, yep, okay. <laughs> Gemini, it's time to open up. It's time to flourish now. It really is time to flourish. Because there's been a lid on this cup for a really long time. Um, I just saw 906 on the clock there, which is interesting. Um yeah, you've had it had it had a lid on that cup for a really long time, Gemini, for whatever reason. And um yeah, take it off. Take it off and let the sparkles gleam. 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 Whatever, shine. <laughs> Gemini, I feel like this is you. This is you is the you're the master and the grasshopper, Gemini. Depending on the situation, you'll you'll go into grasshopper mode and pretend like you're just this um, potentially insignificant little insect. Um, some of you may do that a lot in your life. 
some of you may even see yourself like that the majority of the time. But the thing is, Gemini, you're the master as well. The grasshopper actually is the master. The master is so masterful that he is aware that the grasshopper is there to teach him, not vice versa. Yes. Gemini, it is time to step into your power. Awakening genius. But the thing is, I think it's remembering, it's allowing that to come out and standing in that, you know. Because this is this ancient wisdom that you actually possess inside of you, inside of your heart, inside of your soul. And it's tapping into it. And it's trusting. It's trusting it because this flight to jump and take that leap seems incredibly scary. But when you do spread your wings, Jim. I actually think that you're going to you're going to bow down to yourself. You're going to bow down to yourself. So, in regards to this, this is looking at your needs, okay, and 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 that your needs matter because of who you are. <clears throat> so so by not doing that is not honoring yourself so if you want you know if there are other people around you who are not honoring you it's generally a, re re a reflection why is that so hard to say right now a reflection of you not honoring yourself yeah okay so be aware of that hard truth potentially a hurtful truth but the truth all the same, okay? Where can I create more space? Okay, Gemini, instead of filling yourself up with busy work and things to do, create more space in your schedule, in your home, your mind, your lungs, and your heart. Just take time to be. Do a clutter detox of your schedule, home and innermost self. Make space. Clarity will come. Yeah, yeah, this is so true. Definitely needed, Gemini. Definitely needed. Okay, and this is all part of you working out what your needs are. Um, so maybe it is the time that you need. Maybe that's one of your needs. You know, maybe your your need is um to have time put into you, you know, by you or other people, you know, if they're not giving you the time of day. What is that saying, you know? But anyway, okay, whatever it is, right? Okay. So that's what I'm talking about. I like it like jumping jump out like that. Okay, two more cards for creating space. Oh, yep, sweet. Thank you. That other one came out. Interesting. Wow. That's cool, but I'm not taking it. Oh, sorry. It was this one here. Look at that. Beyond the ordinary. Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to leave that there in case it comes up. It is what it is. Yeah. A tall tale. Interesting. This is interesting. What an interesting card. Sorry. Let me show you. A tall tale. Tall tail. It's a top hat with this wooden. Oh, it's Pinocchio. I feel like this hat is a magic hat. You know what? I feel like this is sort of about this manifestation, right? And this is 35, which turns it into 8. And there's this infinite kind of resource available to you. Tell me more about this because I feel like also, I don't know, there's so much to that card. There's so much to that card. 
tell me more. Tell me more for Gemini about a tall tale. What are these two cards? A tall. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Okay, cool. Thank you. I needed that clarification. Rebirth. This is rebirth. You recreating yourself here, Gemini. Coming up, right? Rising up, Gemini. Playing your tune. Not just playing your tune, but playing your tune to be heard. So for so long, you've been down here in the clouds, just there, carrying everyone else. Carrying whatever, going, doing whatever everyone else says to do. But it's not been about you, Gemini. It's time for it to be about you. It is time for you to rise up and be on top here. For you to be put first. For you to be heard and for you to be seen. Right? To stop hiding under the hat because part of that is you allowing that to happen because part of that you didn't want to be seen or heard. And maybe that's just because you're so used to being down there. But it is time for a transformation and for you to rise up like the phoenix out of the ashes. It's time to rise up here, Gemini. And this came up in Taurus's reading. So if you have Taurus in your chart, you need to go look at that and potentially maybe look at it anyway. Because this, yeah, I feel like this, yeah, could be, you could get some messages from that anyway. Sorry. Just, yeah. I'm thinking it in my mind like you're reading my mind. Maybe you are. But, you know, yeah. Quieting the mind, though. See, this is the space that needs to be created, right? Going into this meditation, allowing the space, especially for you, Gemini, being the overthinkers that you are, you know, with the two twins here going, but what about this? But what about that? And no, it's this. And yes, it's that. And it's a little, little, little bit nonstop till the time you go to sleep. If you can fall asleep, it's going. Tend to do the dozen like and sometimes it's a little bit like drives you nuts right okay so quieting the mind this is where meditation is really good gemini to quiet in the mind and let the mind do what it's going to do but just don't buy into it, it takes practice sorry letting go of the sorrow this is going to help to let go of that sorrow Okay, and allowing this new beginning here to come in. This is a passionate new beginning, something that is for you, something that is for you and you only. This is allowing the source through into your life, the truth of who you are to come through. This here is not the connection you want. This here is the connection you want to make. Okay, it is totally it. it. It is what it is, Gemini. It is what it is. Look at this doorway here. This is a doorway to the next phase of your life. So looking at what it is that you can leave behind. Whatever happened here to cause the sorrow, it is what it is. Nothing can change this now. Going over and over in your mind, trying to make sense of it, trying to clear it. It is what it is. And sometimes we just have to walk forward because sometimes we can't make sense of it. And it's the hard truth sometimes, right? Because we feel like if we could just work it out in our mind, it would dissipate, but not necessarily. It can make it worse. Anyway, okay, it is what it is. I feel like this is sort of like a portal for you too, going through a portal, going to another dimension almost. It's like this transformation that is here to be had. This rebirth is going to take you into a whole new world. You're going to tell a tall tale. No one's going to believe it, but you'll know it's true because it happened to you. You're going to be like, where I was there, look where I am now. And people are going to be like, what? you were there and now you're here don't believe it believe it it is what it is but the thing is 
that you're going to look at it in such a different light <laughs> because <clears throat> you're living in this whole new world, right? Look at this beautiful, beautiful harvesting of these the fruits that you've worked so hard to grow. You've nurtured them. You've taken care of them. And it's time to reap the rewards for your hard work, Gemini. Because you have done the work. Boy, oh boy, have you done the work. It's time to step into this abundance now. Hop on that magic carpet and fly. <laughs> right? Fly. Fly through this door into this other world that is sitting there waiting for you, Gem. Because this is what you deserve. Right? Only royalty gets to fly on this magic carpet. And that's you. That's you. I am focused on what I want most. Gemini, this is the third card here. One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. Tony Robbins said that. <clears throat> That's a quote by Tony Robbins. Okay, so the action is what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make some adjustments? Prioritize. Hmm, that's really good. That's a really good focus to have here, Gemini. I like this also beyond the ordinary, how that popped up, but I didn't take it. The tall tale. It's that kind of thing of, you know, going beyond the ordinary. Anyway, let's go with this card now. Okay, so what was it called again? Am I focused on what I want most? Yeah, see this is it, you know, I think it's looking at this door and where it leads. What do you want that to look like, right? The abundance that you want, is this what you're mostly focused on here? Okay, so tell me more about this. Wow. I don't know, do I want this card? Let me, yes, yes, I'm being told yes, but is there any more? No, there's no more. Okay, sweet. Just had to confirm. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Okay, this card here, number 28, broken open. Broken open, man. Look at this lotus flower. This is you rising up. This is you coming out of this flower, right? Being broken open. The royal you, Gemini. Coming up, man. Prioritize. Prioritize yourself. Okay? Prioritize yourself. Because you are the one who deserves the priority in your life now. You. No one else but you. Okay, so two cards for broken open. You know, and there could have been something that you feel broke you, Gemini. But it actually broke you open, which is a whole different thing. Yeah? Okay, so. Broken open. Yeah. 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 This is what you feel broke you. These projections from other people putting on you, putting their crap on you. Like it was yours to carry. Their burdens, right? Things that trigger them. They put on you and they go, you go there and you do that and you work that out so that I feel better. It's not yours to carry, Gemini. It's theirs. Okay? It's theirs. Don't allow people to condition you into being what they want you to be. Step out of that now. Rise up. 
You're the lion among the sheep. You're not a sheep, Gemini. You're not like everyone else. You are not like everyone else. Celebrate that. Let yourself shine. There are things that may have broken you down, but see it as they broke you open. And they might have even felt like that shattered you. Gemini, you can rise up because you are who you are, Gemini. Right? You are who you are. I don't even know. It is what it is, Gemini. It is what it is. Where's the royal card? Or have I lost it? Dang. But, you know, this is you being the royal you. Anyway, yeah? Anyway, okay. We've got this waking the lion. Number 19. Waking the lion. This is this lion within, right? Oh, this is this lion that thought he was just a sheep who was tied up. This is this lion rising up and going, roar. I'm not going to try and attempt to roar like a lion right now, but you know, this it, it's it's not about that though. It's about this this truth inside of you coming up, right? The music within you rising up to be heard. This beautiful melody that you have inside, Gemini. Let that be played. Let that shine. Let it sparkle, Gemini. The world needs it. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> okay, decide. Decide. Just decide, Gemini. Just do it. Stop hanging in the balance. Okay? Because you're not going to move anywhere if you don't. Get up and go forward. Doesn't matter which side you choose. Just choose and do it. That's it. End of story. No doubt about anything. No questions. Nothing. Just do it. Okay? Procrastination is not helping you at all. Okay? This here, look, this is this flowering, right? The same is broken open. The flower breaks open in order for the insides to come out because when it does, the sun shines down and it nurtures what is inside the flowers, then the bees can come and pollinate the flowers in order to create the world that we live in. It is a cycle that needs to happen over and over again. You are part of that cycle. You are an important and crucial part of that cycle. Okay? You are the king of the jungle. Right? You're not just a little portion of the cycle. You are a massive part of it. You are right up there, Gemini. Own it. Okay, the dream that you dream of, you're not this, Gemini. You are this. You are deserving of this. If this is not what has been given to you, then understand that you don't deserve this. You don't deserve to be sitting there wishing for the dream and wanting the dream. You deserve the dream. Okay, so settle for nothing less. Gem, settle for nothing less. And the last card we have here is the Rose's Kiss. The Rose's Kiss. This is this rose opening up with the ladybug on top of it, with the ladybird there looking over it. Right? And yeah, on the rose is the thorn. This is a number nine. Right? There are thorns on the rose, and the thorns <clears throat> are there. They hurt, they sting, they prick. But they're also there to protect. Because you learn, you grow from this, these things, right? And you heal. And you continue to grow. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. Two cards. I actually want to put that one back because I was not even with that. Okay, the Rose's Kiss. Tell me more. Just two cards for the Rose's Kiss. Yeah. Okay, three cards then. But I'm going to start with this card. The other two are upside down. Don't know what they are yet. This card here, yep. See, this is you letting the, the warmth of your tears 
the warmth of your pain, okay, the thorns of the on the stem of the rose, allowing that to melt the ice, allowing that to open you up, Gemini, okay. So, you know, sorry, I'm just going back to this card. Am I focused on what I want most? You know, um, because these, th this is what it is that you need to look at. What do I want most and how am I to get there? You know, so that you can actually melt all the things away that are not serving you in your life. The people who are not showing up for you in any shape or form doesn't have to be just in romantic relationships it can be in friendships anything who are not showing up for you here okay how are you not showing up for yourself Gemini how be transparent be honest with yourself Gem be truthful with yourself don't lie to yourself don't be a Pinocchio about it okay be honest because you know not being honest with yourself is not going to get you anywhere be honest okay and then, Gemini, you can have this whole new beginning. You can have the dream that you wanted. This is the Ace of Cups, right? Great and full. <laughs> Look at this, Gem. This is here for you. Just go with the flow. It is what it is. Okay, go with the flow. Go through into that other dimension of your life that is there for you. Because you are deserving, Gemini. You are totally deserving the royal you. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.